What you're gonna start seeing is that the edges is gonna be all falling apart. Now guys, mine is still intact because I have the wonderful remedy that I use on mine to keep it in place. I don't lose my edges because this a powerful remedy is really an amazing, it really regrow my edges just like that. So if you find that your edges are thinning, if you take your wig off and there's absolutely no hair around the edges here, this remedy is for you. Now guess what? Not only will this remedy help to regrow your edges, but if you have bald spot, thinning hair, dandruff, this is gonna be an amazing treatment for you. So if you're interested in today's video, you continue watching. The first and main ingredient to grow your edges is castor oil. Now this is Jamaican black castor oil and this is the one I personally like to use on my edges. Not only on my edges but also on my scalps, on my split ends. Just basically a wonderful oil for hair growth. The second ingredient is vitamin E oil. And vitamin E oil is another great oil that can help to stimulate the ear follicles, causing your hair to grow back much faster and thicker. Our next ingredient is peppermint. And I'm gonna use the peppermint oil to help to stimulate the ear follicles for faster ear growth. Now when mixed with the other ingredient, the peppermint oil not only stimulate the ear follicles, but it also help with circulation. Our next ingredient, and this is the only ingredient with water, is aloe vera gel. Now aloe vera gel is great for the skin overall, but when it comes on to your hair, aloe vera gel is a wonderful treatment, a wonderful conditioner for your hair. Now take a look at the final ingredient, and this is rosemary. A rosemary is a herb that is mostly used for cooking. However, rosemary is a a wonderful herb to use for fast hair growth. Now like the peppermint oil, rosemary helps strengthen circulation. Therefore when you apply rosemary on the hair, it stimulates the hair growth. It also helps to prevent premature grain. It also helps to get rid of dandruff and itchy scalp. So using rosemary is a wonderful herb to use in your daily hair care. For storing, you're gonna need a container, preferably a glass or a plastic jar with a tight cover. Now I'm gonna use about four to five stalks of rosemary and there are two things that you can do with the rosemary. You can choose to chop it, which I personally like to do, or you could just choose to leave it like that and stick it in the bottle. Now I'm gonna chop it because I like to chop it and crush it to get that burst of flavor because I'm trying to extract the rosemary oil from the rosemary, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna leave the stick on, for this remedy. Now I like using fresh rosemary for this recipe. My rosemary here look like it's dry but actually it is not because what I do I buy rosemary and I put them in the freezer and once they're in the freezer they keep like really really long without actually drying. So when you want to use a piece of rosemary get it out of the freezer and use it as fresh rosemary. Okay so now that I have my rosemary chopped I'm reaching for my bowl and I'm just gonna put the rosemary in the bowl like this. So I'm just gonna crush, and this have a wonderful fragrance, guys. I just love 
the smell of the rosemary. Now you can also choose to blend the rosemary to a powder. However, I find that when you apply the remedy to your hair, because the rosemary is in a powder, it leaves you know, a residue around the edges. So to prevent that, I prefer to infuse my rosemary, okay? All right, so now that the rosemary is crushed, I'm just gonna place it in my jar. Put my rosemary in the jar. And next, I'm going to move on to adding the rest of the ingredient. Now, the first ingredient is aloe vera gel. And I'm using one tablespoon of aloe vera gel in this recipe. One tablespoon of aloe vera gel. For this particular recipe, I like to use the store-bought for a longer shelf life. Now moving on to our castor oil. I'm going to be using one tablespoon of our Jamaican black castor oil and pour that in. Make sure to drain every single bit of this castor oil in. Next, for my vitamin E oil, I'm using about a teaspoon of vitamin E oil, give or take. Now when it comes on to the peppermint oil, I'm using just a few drops, about three to five drops of peppermint oil. Cover and just shake. Now once you have all the ingredient in the jar and you totally saturate the rosemary with the rest of the ingredient, you're gonna cover your jar and you're gonna put it away. You do not need to put this in the refrigerator. Just put this somewhere in your own, preferably in a dark area, and leave it there for about three to five days. Up to seven days is good. This is not gonna spoil. There is nothing in here to spoil. Now, once that is done, you reach back for it, you take it out, you shake it and the treatment is now ready to use on your edges. So I'm going to go on the other side and I'm going to show you how to use this wonderful hedge treatment for best result. Now after seven days, uh, you're going to reach for your edge remedy. You're going to make sure to shake it uh, vigorously and now it is ready to use. Now a wonderful thing about this remedy is that you don't necessarily have to wash your hair before you use it, okay? You can choose to use this every day or every night. However, if you're gonna be using like glue and stuff like that on your edges, because of the oil, it might not stick. So use this at night preferably, okay? So now here I have my edges all left out. And to use, you just take a little bit, just like you're using your regular pomade, and you just apply it to the edges. You can also use this on your root and your scalp, okay? So just take it, and it have a wonderful, minty, a very refreshing fragrance to it, okay? So just apply it to the edges, all the way around the edges like you're applying any oil to your hair and just massage it in. Do a little massaging, massage it in, and that is it. Don't be afraid to apply it all the way around, okay? And as I said before, you can also use this on your scalp if you have dandruff and itching scalp. And that's all you have to do. You do not need to rinse this out. You can leave it in your hair. However often you wash your hair, that's the time you rinse it out. It is basically a leave-in oil for your hair. That is gonna help to grow your hair for bald spots, okay? Split ends, just give this wonderful remedy a try. Okay, guys? So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. Thumbs the video up if you like it. Share the video and leave your comments. And if this was the first time watching, don't leave without subscribing. So look below. You're going to see the word subscribe. Just click on it and you will be subscribed. Thank you all. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.